啊，最近呢，因为在这个大家知道，二十二十二、二十六号一夜，这几个呃天然呃，在这个南越 Ranch Market 这里都被抢，这是比较严重的案子，当然有小的案子可能没人报。所以呢，我本来是等准备说等我竞选完了之后再找警察局来做这件事情，但我想不可以太慢了，在两个多月的话，这地方的房地产都会跌得乱七八糟的，所以我就我就赶快去找他们，说可不可以做一个铺广。那这个铺广呢，对这个三界很大的影响，因为我跟他们谈的时候，他们都说，因为治安不好的话，客人都不敢来的，一报傍晚的时候，客人都不见了。所以他现在这个警察局现在要走的方向就是不是用警车，因为警车的话呢，很多时候他没开过了，人就不见了。所以坏人再来，就五分钟之差都看不到这警车。所以很重要就是马车，就算现在就不是马马队的，马开了一个马队，就骑马的。那马呢的位置比较高，你要坐在马上面的位置比较高。那坏人坏人也可以看到，那警察也可以看到那些坏人。所以他们就准备派马队出来，从这个月就开始在这个附近巡逻。所以这三家都大家都很支持，呃，他们就越快越好，因为这对生意很大的影响。那对我们这附近的房地产也会有影响，所以这东西不能等，我就马上着手办。就是今天就请他们过来跟大家讲解一下。我，但是从这边，你想这两个虾兵是开一次的话，不到一分钟开不过了，然后又开到别的地方去了。那现在马队呢，就从这个波文以西、多伦多以东啊、玻璃啊，就是这样的发展。所以大家会看到很多。And I've also been blessed to be in charge of the mounted unit. The mounted unit incorporates horses in their patrol. And we've been running a mounted unit in Arcadia for about the last 12 years. Maybe you've never seen us on horseback. Well, our main areas of deployment are the Santa Anita racetrack. And the Santa Anita Mall or Westfield Mall at Baldwin and Huntington uh, during Christmas time. While we've been at those two locations, we've had a very successful uh, statistical uh, result of uh, lowered auto burglaries and lowered auto thefts. Um, we've also experienced very good community relations with the mounted officers and the people at the mall and the racetrack. I don't think that's me. My purpose, an opportunity arose here recently where we, had the, where we have the opportunity to expand the mounted patrol into other areas of Arcadia. Officers and civilian volunteers. The civilian volunteers are dressed in white. The police officers are in blue. The city of Arcadia doesn't own any horses. To be a member of the team, you have to provide your own horse. So the civilian volunteers who come out and ride with us are paying for their own horse, their own horse expenses, um, we train them in, the in a classroom setting, we orient them to the field and train them out in the field. What they are qualified to do is write parking tickets, they'll enforce your handicapped parking out here, we'll enforce fire zone violations, but the biggest thing that they're going to do is if a crime were to occur and they were on scene and could witness it, they have direct radio communications with dispatch faster than a telephone. They've also been trained to be good witnesses. Again, we're a service oriented agency. We want to come in here, we want to get to know you, we want to be here for you, uh, and we hope to end this problem that's occurring in this mall, and at the same time make this a safer, friendlier place for people to come and shop. So as Bruce talks about being here several okay. times a month, that is certainly going to help us out, and that's certainly going to build community relations. But again, that's above and beyond the police officers who are in the marked police cars out here 24 hours a day at Southern Miss. Around the horses, or you know, is there anything they need to do to avoid hitting the horse or something? Yeah, just don't hit the horse. <laughs> <laughs> the horses are used to traffic. They're used to cars coming up behind them. They're used to horns honking. Um, just don't hit them. Okay? <laughs> just just don't run them over. So put in the bank, the bank, the Jenny. Yeah. You know, she opened the bank for us to be here. Yes. Well, so we like uh, to thank everybody for coming and make sure that everybody knows what's happening over here. Okay.